and welcome to the Pioneer Sideline. I'm your host, Aaron Cooney. It's episode 133 coming at you as we get that count finally situated and ready to roll. But let's jump right into it. The women's basketball team on a roll right now. And while you were on break, we were still doing the broadcast, and we got all the highlights to show you right now. Let's start it off right now with the first game back on January the 7th. Point Park taking on Wilberforce, and there you see the teams warming up. Point Park ready to roll, looking to continue their winning streak. And it's going to look good. There's April Austin with the three, starting things off early with the big three ball. With the big three ball, Point Park up early. There's a look at that pass. April Austin down to the inside. Anna Maria Boschkova finishing it up. Big points there. Point Park still up big. Go to the end of the second half and you, or the end of the first half rather. You see Johnson Peterkin with a huge block. Point Park working the offense up one more time. Here's the passing. Haley Sauer to Maeve Gallagher finishing it up. Point Park up with four minutes to go. Then towards with time running out in that first half. Wilberforce trying to get back into that game just a little bit there. You see a three from Danielle Lewis. They'll make it close, but as you'll see in the second half, just not close enough as Point Park goes on as they get some more points. Katrice Savisky with the big deep two there, and then finishing up, going to the inside. Johnson Peterkin, nice spin move into the inside. We'll follow up there as Savisky one more time. Just too much to handle on the inside coming from Point Park University, and a lot of players figuring in here. You see Sarah Sandin put up the two. That won't go. Rebound tipped. Maeve Gallagher battling through. Dish it off one more time. Sarah Sandin from the short corner. That'll go. Make it 48-23 with 10 minutes remaining. Point Park just up all over on this one. You'll see the steal. There goes Teresa Davis down the left side on the fast break. Finish it up with the left hand. And that's how that one will end with the bucket and the foul. Point Park with a big win. 60-34. to uh, They weren't done there as they'll go right on later on that week. Just the next day taking on Penn State Fayette. Uh, Point Park getting another win. We were at the game doing the broadcast. Point Park wins 84-71 to there uh, in a non-conference matchup. Three players with 10 points uh, for Point Park. You're looking at Kristen Beatty, Johnson Peterkin, and also Katrice Savisky with 10 points. Shartner chipped in 12. And another big win for the Pioneers. Move on following at the end of the week there on a Saturday. Point Park taking on, taking on Houghton. Uh, we were there to give you the highlights for that game as Point Park looking to continue this win streak taking on another AMC conference. Here you see April Austin hits the three. That is the year record for Point Park uh, University. Three-point shots made. April Austin leading that category with 137 off that one there. You saw the three from Krista Moose. Now Point Park back on offense. Getting the deep two from Sarah Sandin. Some more Point Park on the offense. Look at that pass going to the inside. Finishing up is Savisky. Point Park still up on top. Towards the end of the first half, the Moose is loose. Wide open. Where is the defense there? Krista Moose, she finished up with 13 points on the day. Point Park in the second half, picking up where they left off. As you can see, another three that time coming from Jennifer Hudson. Point Park on the offense now. Down to the inside, Kristen Beatty finishing up. One more time on the offense. Point Park just looking to pull away here. Beatty one more time goes up through contact, bucket and the foul. Point Park still up big. Now on to playing some defense. You can see trying to work to the inside, trying to make a run there is Houghton as they got it inside uh, for a play from Alicia Marhefko. Now Pioneers back trying to answer. Rebound tipped around. Get picked up by Kristen Beatty. She was just a force in this game. She finished up with 20 points. 12 of those points coming in the second half. Get another lob to the inside. Kristen Beatty, or Kristen Vezzelini rather, the other Kristen with the bucket and the foul. That ends the game. Point Park wins 65 to 50. Moves on to 13 and 4 overall with another big win. Beatty with 20 points. Austin 16. Savisky with 10. Let's move it on to the following week, taking on Roberts Wesley in Point Park in another AMC battle, looking to continue that trend there of the winning. You see Pioneers ready to roll, taking on Roberts Wesley in a home game, or a road game, rather. They haven't won in Roberts Wesleyan in a long time. It's a tough place for them to play. And really, this team started off really bad from the field. Point Park only shot 22% in that first half, and tell you what, Roberts Wesleyan, even worse, at 18%. And you see Vezzelini, yeesh, that's not going to go. Try on the other side with Marissa Bunce. That's uh, not going to go to the front end. But Point Park, ready to roll, though. Nice pass to the inside. Savisky finishing up with the bucket and the foul off the dish from April Austin. How about some more Point Park? Uh, it's Emily Shartner coming into the paint with the jumper on the run there, finishing up. Point Park leading early on. Now Marissa Bunce trying to get Robert Susling back into it. They go inside for a play there. Allwart was a force in this game, and she tried to lead them on and get them back to the game. Now in the second half, you see April Austin Continuing her hot streak, stopping up at the free throw line, putting up the J. Point Park still on offense. Spin away. Watch Kristen Beatty just blows right by Child there with the left hand and finishes up. Still on offense, Point Park. Moving the ball all around. Savisky with a deep two. She had herself a good ball game as well. Now, 
Point Park try, or trying to hold down Roberts Wesley and getting back into it there. It's uh, Jones making things happen. Now Sarah or Emily Sharner, now she just turned things on in that second half. Really was the leader there for Point Park. She finished up with 19 points on the day, coming off another three there. She was 6 of 12 from the field, 3 of 7 from beyond the arc. On um, the huge day for her, Point Park wins 57-39, moves on to a record of 15 and 4. One more game for you before we bring in Matt Desmond and they're taking on Carlo. You'll see with the win there to win 67-46, but let's just show you how that happened with the highlights here. You see April Austin getting recognition with the game ball for her uh, record for three-point shots made for Point Park. Also going to acknowledge Johnson Peterkin for the career blocks lead that she picked up last year. Shartner starting things off hot, just like she did against Roberts Wesley and hits the three there. One more time. Give me it one more time. There you go. Eight nothing Point Park starting off with a 21 to six run in the first 10 minutes. There you see Sarah Sandin getting the action as well. Point Park up big. Carla really was no match as 13 Pioneers figured in on this one. Savisky there from the short corner. Keep it in the first, still in the first half. Going to the corner one more time. Teresa Davis, she'll take three of those. We like that too. Point Park still a big. April Austin, she says all the three balls going down. She needs to add on to her lead before everybody catches up. Still your record holder, Emily Shartner. Don't let her get in the zone. There she goes one more time for three. Start off the second half. A big three for her. She finished up with 22 points. She was five of eight from beyond the arc. Do you see nice passing there. Broshkova finishing up for Point Park. And then Brittany Dunmire towards the end of the game. She gets into the action with the three with under a minute remaining. Point Park wins 67 to 46. Moves on to 15 and four overall. 10 game win streak. Uh, largest for the Pioneers there. And we're going to bring in Matt Desmond. And Matt, huge week. We're like a couple weeks for the Pioneers to extend that win streak, get off to the big start in the AMC. And really, it was the depth that showed up for the Pioneers. Oh yeah, definitely. Each week in and out, you saw a different Pioneer get involved in the scoring action. You saw my X Factor for the weeks ahead was uh, was uh, Kristen Beatty getting involved in this offense. And Kristen Beatty, she just took the charge. Whenever there was an occasion where the Pioneers needed that score, she was the player to turn to. She would drive to the hoop, get the Pioneers the score they needed, then they would get back on defense and let the defense win the games for them. But Week in and week out, it's been a different Pioneer. You saw Emily Shartner get on fire. Now you're seeing Kristen Vesalani. She's starting to pick up the things for the Pioneers. So each player, you know, they're having their time for this Point Park Pioneer offense. And that's exactly what you need when you have this stellar defense. Now, how much has that contributed to the uh, kind of slump that we find Jocelyn Peterkin on? Excuse me. Uh, she hasn't really produced of what we expected from her uh, as of late. And how big is it for the Pioneers to get her going? Yeah, you, you see that the Pioneers, uh, they finally got Johnson Peter getting going. Last game against uh, the Damon Wildcats, they really didn't have that all year. You saw Johnson Peter can get her rebounds. She was able to corral it and actually put points back on the board. And that's very important for the Pioneers because we saw that in last game, Damon had five players that had 100 plus rebounds. And we said that was going to be a big factor. If the Pioneers can out rebound Damon, they're going to be in a good shape to win this contest. And Johnson Peter can, she got some rebounds down. She put some points on the board. And, you know, the Pioneers, they got a national ranking from that. Well, Matt, thank you very much. I know it was short. Uh, on the analysis side. We're going to bring you back, though, and talk about that Damon game that you brought up. we got highlights for that and a huge matchup between the Pioneers and the number 19-ranked nationally Wildcats just from this past Saturday. So you want to stick around for that. We're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, Kevin Calhoun's going to join us. We're going to take a look and see what the men did over their break while we were all gone. So stay tuned.